If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know yourself but not the enemy, for every victory gained you will also suffer a defeat. If you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will succumb in every battle. Sun Tzu, the art of war. Truer words cannot be said for a game like Fate Tactics, Humble Games' 2020 offering for the SRPG genre. However, much like every war in history, each battle must be analyzed if it is a battle worth picking. Hello, my name is Limit, and this is Pick Your Battles, Fate Tactics. In this world, humans who have the ability to use magic are called witches, and have a strong connection with the Fae, magical elemental creatures. Your main character is a young girl named Peony, accompanied by her dog Chico and the baby chick, Payachin. The main driving plot is searching for her mother, a witch. The story is presented in chapters, sectioned off in segments that you can pick and choose to view at any point. These segments, however, are mutable depending on days past or actions taken. And much like RPGs of old, there are four crystals to be collected and an underlying story of what it means to exist in this world. If you played a JRPG in the past, the story might seem familiar to you, which is fine, but it's also not breaking new ground, nor is it framed in a compelling enough way to make an old concept fresh. Sprite work on all the assets of this game are inspired. If this game emerged in the Game Boy Advance era, it would certainly have been a cult classic on virtue of art alone. Each unit is brimming with character and has that bit of retro charm where changing weapons denotes a color change in the overall sprite, like Mega Man. The chessboard-like maps are also incredibly detailed with each tile marking an advantage or disadvantage. Spanning various areas from windswept deserts to poison mist filled bogs to idyllic landscapes filled with all sorts of knickknacks from status inflicting mushrooms to swaths of water that can instantly kill a leader if a unit is felled on the tile. There is a rub, however. If you are not too keen on 32 bit era sprites designs, that datedness of the art might not appeal to you, no matter how vibrant and colorful it is. But if that's not a deterrent for you, then this beautifully created art style is a boon, and you will need strong visuals to get through this game. The music for this game is quite honestly, without mincing words, incredible. You will be whisked away to old spaghetti westerns, fantastical fairy caves, swelling intense epic battles to the light-hearted whimsy of the Match 2 minigame. Composer Sam English has masterfully created a soundscape that delivers both as an emotional narrative tool and music that you might find on your playlist in your day-to-day. -day. The game has opted to apply a menu-less approach to what is traditionally a menu-filled genre. Each unit's HP bar is lined with badges indicating what each unit can do. From movement distance to type of damage to whatever passive your units have are all quickly indicated on the badges underneath the HP bar. A dedicated button is also given for a quick pop-up guide of battle mechanics, so you're not expected to have these memorized, and you will be using this button. At least if you want to succeed, that is, but more on that later. The varied game areas are revealed via a scrolling world hub on the chapter select. It's not clearly communicated to begin with, but each chapter marked story progresses you through the game. Although some might feel like side quests, they are all in fact part of a greater narrative which I found to be a unique freeform storytelling. The gameplay is Fate Tactics crowning glory, with an incredibly robust elemental weakness chart to a myriad of auto-triggering passives to a card buff system pulled straight from the greats like Ogre Battle and Final Fantasy Tactics. That evolution of the train height mechanic truly proving the old adage that it is truly over when you control the high ground. The game uses a day counter as a marker for various in-world resets for each mission or story quest you go after. Pursuing one battle or story event adds a day to your counter, which effectively resets your buffs, which are acquired from camp meals. Camp meals are a match to minigame that affords you various buffs going into your next mission. Getting a perfect board might mean life or death into your next map, so failing this mini quest might force you to do a free battle in order to reset the clock. As I mentioned earlier, every story event is part of a greater narrative in the game, although it may seem like they are side quests. This is not to say that there are no branching paths in the game, 
a killed unit instead of a subdued one might lock you out of opportunities, or a missed mission by spending too much time allowing days to be spent without pursuing an objective by doing free missions and rolling out your days. Difficult is the name of the game called Fate Tactics, but much like the old adage, this is only true if you don't understand your team and approach the game without truly understanding all the options afforded to you. Slow and steady wins this race, and understanding your elemental properties versus what your enemy has is the key to victory. This and your patience will be rewarded with more loot and bonus experience further strengthening your army. Despite all the avenues for growth, however, the game very rarely allows you to feel powerful. Deftly positioned units on maps designed to put you at a disadvantage are a constant and feels like what seems to be challenge stages in other tactics games. While these challenges can be fun, constant hammering with this difficulty just seems like being put on the grinder constantly. If you're a tactics game enthusiast with a keen fondness for 32-bit GBA era games, then this is a battle you want to pick. The music, the art, and gameplay are amazing but they stand on their own and together doesn't necessarily build an experience greater than the sum of its parts. The story is a decent enough vehicle to carry it forward, but not enough to make it memorable. You will remember this game's gameplay, but not the story around it. The game knows what it is and what it is trying to deliver, which is a love letter to tactics fans and an open challenge to all who would dare. My name is Limit and this has been Pick Your Battles, Fate Tactics. If you enjoyed this review, you can catch more by subbing to the Limit RX YouTube channel. And for daily tactics games and fighting game tournaments, consider following twitch.tv slash limit underscore rx. Thank you for watching.